Note 8 has the largest screen ever on a Note device. To create it, we took a 6.3 inch pane of glass and we rounded the corners and curved the edges. The Galaxy Note 8 is the follow-up to the Galaxy Note 7, which you may know famously as the phone that kept blowing up, literally, because of the faulty battery. Samsung has released other phones since then, but this is the first one in this line that we've seen, and that makes this a pretty crucial launch for them. We're proud to introduce a dual camera that will set a new standard for smartphone cameras everywhere. Live Focus gives you the freedom to decide how much your subject stands out by adjusting the blur and focus of the background in real time. But we don't think that you should have to delete your stuff or get a whole new phone when you run out of space. That's why the Note 8 has a micro SD card slot. With the Note 8, you don't have to worry about getting your device or the S Pen wet. When you pin a to-do list, you're always on display. You can also edit it from there with a simple double tap. With the S Pen, I can just hover over a menu item and it will translate the entire sentence for me. It even, thank you, even automatically converts units of measurement and foreign currencies. I can press the Bixby button and say, food, photo. Bixby automatically launches the camera, sets it to food mode, snaps the pic. Not only does it do that, it opens my gallery and moves my pizza slice to my foodie album. And you can customize your own commands the way you like. The Note line has been very successful because of its larger screen and the incorporation of the stylus. It sort of became a go-to phone for power users, for people who wanted to use it for business and that sort of thing. Even with the safety issues, there were a lot of people who were really loath to give up their Note 7s because they figured, well, what are the odds of a battery explosion? With the Note 8, as long as they get the safety right and as long as they can prove that they've kind of overhauled their safety procedures enough, we could see you know, a similar market for the phone. This would be a good test of Samsung's brand loyalty, which is of course something Apple has in spades, um, to see if people are willing to come back to this troubled phone line. If Samsung hasn't fixed the problems that they had with the Note 7 in the Note 8, I do think that opens up the market a little bit for other competitors to come in. We could see Google with its Pixel, uh, next generation of that phone is supposed to come out this fall as well. We're going to see it compete head-to-head -head with the next iPhone, which of course we don't have firm details about, but we are expecting to be pretty spectacular because it's the 10th anniversary of that device. Samsung would be at a disadvantage there. Beginning on September 15th, the Note 8 will hit stores. And pre-orders will begin in a matter of days. Thank you. We are excited.